Good morning. I was watching um, a fellow YouTuber, uh, Bell Facts. There he is. And he, he put up recently a video um, doing an outdoor and indoor walk around off to Royal Avenue. And I have walked past this building many a time and never give it a second thought. And it was only his, uh, his excellent walkabout uh, detailing the architecture and, and all the rest of it and the refurbishment of, of this building that caught my attention. And he pointed out the fact that this building was built in 1869. And it was designed by a famous Newry architect, William J. Burr. And I hadn't quite realised this. The only significant architect that I have, you know, really come across was Charles Lanyon. And of course there was um, his uh, compatriot uh, Lynn. But I'd never come across this guy Burr. So I decided to look him up. And I found quite a bit about him, including a photograph. Um, on culturenorthernireland.org I just could not believe how many uh, buildings right across Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland that this man was responsible for designing. In fact, he, he comes a very close second to, to Charles Lanyon, but I had never heard of him before. Ah, so this is, I find this remarkable. And lo and behold, an awful lot of these buildings that he designed, um, I had actually videoed in some of my videos, but I never knew um, who the, the designer or architect was. So here's a wee bit of background detail to uh, William J. Barr. And he was born in 1830 in Newry, and he was apprentice to a local builder. And then at the age of 17, he uh, uh, was apprenticed to Thomas Duff. And he took up his own uh, architectural practice in Newry in 1850. But the, the, draw, the draw of the big smoke was, was too much for him, and he... Um, he ended up in Belfast by 1860. His first significant building, according to this here, was um, that he was involved in was 1852, the uh, Newry Dublin Road Unitarian Church. And it says here that Barr's interest in Gothic Revival church architecture, you know, was very apparent. And he, he, he designed so many uh, churches uh, of all denominations, uh, Roman Catholic churches, um, Presbyterian churches, Unitarian churches, and uh, Church of Ireland churches, Methodist churches, and, and many, many more. And he designed schoolhouses, and, and as well as this, he designed monuments and um, at one stage he put in a, a design for a competition for uh, uh, the building of Scrabble and uh, um, it was uh, turned down in favour of Charles Lanyon and William J. Lynn's uh, choice. He designed the Albert Clock. He designed the Belmont Presbyterian Church and so, so many more. He designed mills, he designed hospitals. Um, I, I just, and, he, and, and on top of that, he did uh, uh, additions and improvements to many other churches. I found out uh, in my wander through his life that he uh, had actually um, worked on uh, St. Patrick Parish Church in Banbridge, and I, I know it very well. 
Unfortunately, um, William Joseph Barr uh, didn't have a long life. He was born in 1830 and by 1867 he was dead. Only 37 years old. He never married and he's buried in St. Patrick's and he's buried in St. Patrick's Church graveyard at Newry. In 1865 he was marking out a grass field for uh, the construction of a large villa and uh, the, the long grass was wet and he was soaked and unfortunately he didn't get dried out and in those days you know things moved on very rapidly he caught the cold and this unfortunately developed into um, something much more serious sore throat consumption and it was to have a massive this small incident was to have a massive influence on his future days and health he was just poorly from then on in and he he, uh, he tried to uh, relieve it somewhat by uh, going for the winter to uh, Menton in the south of France to convalesce but he died the following September in his home um, in Fisherwick Place and uh, there, I, as far as I know that there, there's no blue plaque to remember this man even though you know he, he, he designed so many uh, Belfast buildings of note and I'm going to show you a series of um, uh, photographs of uh, some of the work that he undertook. This is uh, one of the most famous buildings in Belfast. This is our Albert clock. And we call it our leaning uh, Albert clock because it has a slight tilt. This is the very famous Ulster Hall. It's the home of uh, Captain Crozier, discoverer of the Northwest Passage. Um, 1796 to 1848 and just behind this in the square is Crozier's monument and I used to play on this and this was designed I never knew who designed it as an architect I, um, I never knew that this was uh, the work of William Joseph Barr. This is an interesting one. Do you know where this is? Well, this is the Methodist Church the, um, in Portrush. This is the Adam Clark Memorial Methodist Church and this is the obelisk to uh, Adam Clark uh, designed by again W. J. Barr. This is the very imposing, uh, solid looking Archbishop's Palace in Armagh and uh, this was used by various um, Church of Ireland I believe Archbishops from 1770 through to quite recently uh, 1975. I, in 2020 I was searching for the possible grave site of Gaelic Lord Con O'Neill buried in 1619 and I came across this imposing building. I just couldn't believe it. And that's where I believe the gravesite is in that field. But anyway, that building that I just showed you there is um, Moodlands over in East Belfast and again designed by uh, W.J. Barr W.J. Barr So if you're thinking about Belfast architects 
don't forget to include William Joseph Barr. Gone, but not forgotten.